What's up all my money makers, my honey boo bells, and my cousins, my cousins. So I want to bring this picture over here to y'all because I've been sitting on it for a few months and the people that I've discussed this with, which ain't but maybe two or three people, um, they stated that they never saw this, they never heard of this, and you know, so I feel like, hey, we could talk about it. Um, now, this is Pucky. One of the Wilson brothers. Remember, in the beginning, they were saying that, you know, these were Kanika blood cousins. But I seen him personally, you know, say something about Kanika in reference to, you know, being cousins, like play cousins, you know. Um, and then you have Teresa that came out and, you know, to me, it was kind of strange that these were the first people that she name dropped that she know for a fact they were going to be at that party besides those girls. But she knew that these guys were going to be at the party. And uh, she also stated that they weren't her blood cousins. They were like play cousins. Okay. Um, but they are tied to the family by a relative's girlfriend or whatever have you. We'll get into that later. Right now, I just want to talk about this boy being in, you know, medical school or whatever have you. Now, here's the thing. I wondered in 2017, was he, you know, in medical school trying to get his, you know, degree to become a licensed physician, you know, because he's a soon to be Dr. Williams. He is dressed down in medical attire and you know all that good stuff it looks legit and from uh my research you know it was legit so i just wonder if he was doing this in 2017 because that would change the game a little bit because we tried to figure out who had that medicine the topramite or mate topramate whatever it's called we were trying to figure out who had that now it was said that it was the Dion boy. Remember, I was talking about this. Um, I accidentally loaded up on the other channel, and I was like, "Well, it's up there now." But it's on the other channel, the video when I was talking about the headless horseman um, with the picture of Dion and the other three guys. Um, and I was, you know, saying that you know we've tried to tie him with the medicine because he has sickle cell, and evidently. He is prescribed the same type of medicine. Now, in my opinion, that guy wasn't there. Now, did he pass his medicine off? We don't know. Um, another person we tried to tie to the medicine was Bree Bree. Now, Bree Bree had a family member that had passed away um, a couple of days or so before. Um, I remember seeing her daughter getting on there talking about her mom had had a seizure, you know, the next room over. And if she would have just made a noise, she may have could have saved her mom's life, you know, and so on and so forth. And from my research, that lady also had the same type of medicine, which would have put Bree Bree, you know, accessible to that medicine. Well, now here... We have Pucky, one of the Wilson brothers, that is in, you know, medical school, and he has access to these type of facilities. Could he have been the one that had his hands on this said medicine? Now, another thing that um, kind of alarms me is Pucky's brothers and cousins and stuff you know they are in the whole drug ring and fentanyl is something that they were cutting you know some of the drugs with and in the beginning i remember andrew holmes clearly saying no it wasn't fentanyl or nothing like that and i was like well you know, with the fentanyl and alcohol, I I feel like that would have been more likely because it was more accessible in the hood. And it was up until, you know, this point that I had to say, well, maybe, 
you know, it really was Tobi Mike. Because, okay, wait, I'm saying that to say that I don't believe the autopsy, okay? And I am going to talk about that in another video. But I don't believe the autopsy. I don't believe a lot of the stuff that Rosemont nor the family gave us in this case. And my A1 Day ones know, you know, how I'm feeling about this whole thing. So... I really was thinking that they had gave her some fentanyl or something like that. You know, go do your research, see what it is. But like I said, in Chicago, Detroit and those areas like that, they are using that medicine to like cut heroin and um, these pills and, you know, just give you straight fentanyl for those that think they can handle it because it's like stronger than heroin and stronger than morphine you know so this has been um a deadly drug in the chicago area and it has been several overdoses and it's been fentanyl related so that's why for the longest i really believed that it was fentanyl i was trying to wait on the second autopsy like i said we're gonna get into that later but what i want to bring to y'all is this guy you know, in my opinion, is very well capable of being accessible to the topramite or topramate, whatever. And, you know, could have passed it on to a party goer because it is a lot of connections that would connect everybody in that party to one another to a mutual friend even from the different sets you know what i'm saying and it's not unlikely that you got homeboys that grew up from knee high to a duck and you know may have moved across town you know to still hang together even though they're from different states you know it's a line of respect you know so it could happen with them mingling and mixing together but if they all came together for a certain purpose, you know, like Shamaya was talking about in her thing, which we'll get to all that, you know, um, that that kind of raises an alarm again. Like, OK, well, why do y'all all need to be together? You know, it don't matter what y'all beefing about in the streets. But when it comes to this Kanika shit, we need to stand together. Like, hey, y'all about to fall apart. And y'all falling out across town. And we all was in on this shit. If y'all fall out and start snitching, then everybody going down, you know. Um, so, I just feel like everybody had a purpose that was involved in this Kanika thing. I feel like this was very well organized. I feel like this was premeditated. I do feel like some higher ups and elites and government officials and stuff like that could very well be involved. And I'm not just talking about Rosemont PD or, you know, the hotel, even though we got to keep in mind that the man from the hotel in 2017 was announced to be ambassador of israel by trump so him and trump are buddy buddy buddies and oh we just gonna say that for another video we're gonna talk about that but i just want y'all to get down in the comments and i want y'all to tell me what y'all think about this guy you know being accessible to the medicines uh could have very well you know tried to perform something on Kanika that night, you know, because, you know, we did hear about her post been having a seizure. They thought she was dead. You know, maybe he tried CPR or maybe he thought he can cut out, you know, the spleen or whatever. I'm just saying, you know, on his own. I don't know. That's why I'm bringing this to y'all because whether y'all think that um i don't read these comments or not i do i might not be able to answer all of them like right then because i could just be scrolling them just in the midst of the moment while i'm waiting in line or something you know but i do read these comments the good the bad the ugly and i love it like you guys are so like on it y'all are so intelligent y'all see things you know that i may have missed i mean i love you guys in the comments i like i said the good bad and the ugly so make sure y'all get down and voice y'all opinion because i do have a comment video that's dedicated to my commenters 
coming up real soon pertaining to, you know, the, the Kanika Jenkins case where I'm going to be answering some of the comments, you know, in the video. So make sure y'all get down there and voice y'all opinions and I will see y'all in the next one. Make sure y'all have that bell hit because we got some hot topics coming up. We don't have no filter over here and we are calling all BS as we see it. So let me know how y'all feel about the Wilson brother here, uh, soon to be Dr. Wilson. And this your girl Money Stack signing out. Smooches. Peace.